Hey everybody, Mr. Drawn here. Today we're going to talk about pixel art. Use this spreadsheet to create your own pixel art drawings. Click on the draw here tab at the very bottom to begin. To color in squares, type in the lowercase letters from A to S as indicated by the key at the top of the sheet. For the color white, just leave the cell blank. To remove a color, hit delete. If you want to change available colors, you can, and I'll show that later in the video. And when you're done, you can share it with me, and I'd love to see whatever you come up with. Pixel art is a combination of colors represented by little squares. This is the same way that your screen shows color, just different colors showing up in squares beside each other, and the combination in a grid pattern creates an image. Famous artists have used this, including Chuck Close, uh, who is right here. This guy uses little squares of color to create a larger image. We're gonna go a little simpler than that. You've got a grid here, and if I press A and hit enter or move my arrow keys, I'm going to get a square of black. This is done with conditional formatting in the spreadsheet and each color letter A through S is coordinated to a different color. So if I press A or B or C or D, I'm going to get the color that coordinates with that formatting. I press delete on that square to delete that color and turn it back to white. If you want a square to be white, you just leave it blank. I can click and press letters anywhere within this area. In fact, anywhere on the sheet. And if I want to make it bigger, I can add more squares. You can delete the whole area by clicking and dragging over the area you want to delete. You can also change the color and then drag on this little square on the bottom of the cell in order to fill an entire wide area. Uh, I've got a picture of Chewbacca I want to recreate, so I'm going to work with this side by side. And I'm just going to start by laying in the sky behind him and then maybe go with a darker gray to put these mountains in, use some white for the snow. And then once I have the background made, I'm going to start working on Chewbacca himself. At this point, I'm thinking I need a different color from what's available. So I'm going to go format, conditional formatting, pick a color that I'm sure I won't use. And I'm just going to change both the text color and the fill color to a color that I do want. By changing both of these, uh, maybe to a dark red or dark brown, maybe this deep red right there, I'm going to create a new formatting. So when I type Q into a cell, I'm not going to get that purple anymore. Now I'm going to get this dark reddish brown. Pixel art is a lot of fun. When you feel like you've created something that you're happy with, go ahead and share it with me. I'd love to see what you come up with and feel free to push it. Maybe go big, maybe go small, work within different confines and see what you can come up with. This is a really great form of artwork that is used throughout different sorts of media, including video games. Uh, all the original video games were totally based on just pixel art and getting them to work with your very limited color palettes that the video games and video consoles and TVs were capable of at the time. Uh, and I'm going to keep pushing this back and forth until I'm happy with it, getting different colors, seeing if I can get more additional features. But I think I'm going to have to go simpler with this because uh, just not enough detail in this small little area. that's it for today everybody i hope that you go ahead try make some pixel art i'd love to see what you come up with have yourselves a good one and happy star wars day